It is very easy to make chimichurri sauce. You don't have to buy it in any supermarket. This, this sauce or this salsa is very good, especially when you are grilling steak or pork or any kind of meat. Here I was uh, grilling some riba steak and some short ribs. And we use some um, chimichurri sauce. For this recipe, we're gonna use two bunches of parsley, fresh parsley. Make sure you give it a nice rinse. Five minutes, you don't have to be a special person in chopping vegetables or mincing. Just take your time, be patient. We're gonna start adding oregano. This oregano is dry. And for this recipe, you wanna use one quarter cup of oregano. And if you find fresh oregano, you can use it too. Just a little bit more. But sometimes it's very hard to find fresh oregano. And put a one cup of warm water in there. Just heat it in the microwave for one minute. Yes, it, it, this sauce has some water. The, the water, as you can see, was a little hot, warm, and then you start mixing everything. Make sure you put some spice, like crushed pepper. And if you don't want your salsa spicy, don't don't add any crushed pepper. Just leave it off. Once you put it, start mixing. And we're going to combine the parsley with the oregano and the chili flakes. We're going to add some apple cider vinegar. I like to add one part of vinegar, like one cup. And one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Some people like to use like one part oil and half part of uh, vinegar that's up to you you start mixing everything start coming together and everything starts smelling delicious in your kitchen for last we're gonna add maybe like five or six uh, garlic cloves and make sure you chop everything too you have to be fresh garlic Garlic is very good for you. You should add it to a lot of foods that you cook. It's an antibiotic that nature gave us. And you start putting everything in there. I love garlic and that's why I'm using a lot here. You can use less. And put some salt, a little bit of salt. Maybe like half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of black pepper. And that's it. It is very easy, right, to make chimichurri. I know some supermarkets sell it, but, you know, it is a crazy idea of buying chimichurri. Don't come with the excuse that, oh, I don't have time. Everybody has time. You just got to have the desire to make a good sauce at home or a good sauce, and you, you can... Save it for a long time. This salsa will last you maybe like 10 days. I like making this salsa at home and I, I use it on everything. When I fry beans with rice, when I grill pork, or meat or chicken, it's, it's outstanding. It's very delicious. And look here, 
I got some steamed rice, corn, tortilla, and we have some more chimichurri. It is a salsa from Argentina, and people make it in many different ways. I don't like to put cilantro, but you can put cilantro if you want. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you you made this, this sauce at home, okay? It's so easy, and you're going to save a lot of money. See you on my next video.